give you a brief demonstration on Ben Hogan's book, The Five Lessons, The Modern Fundamentals of Golf. If you're not familiar with this book, you should be. Originally written in 1957 as a series of articles for Sports Illustrated, it was then converted into a book which most professionals, even today, consider the golfing bible. So let's start with lesson number one, the grip. Ben Hogan's first and most important lesson was on the grip. To establish a proper grip, begin with your club at the proper address position. The back of your left hand should be facing the target. When you grip the club, you're going to begin with your left index finger and put the club up and under the bottom of the muscle pad on the bottom right of your hand. With the proper pressure points, you should be able to lift the club up without using any of your other fingers. You'll then wrap the rest of your fingers around the club. And with your right hand, you'll be placing the club in the four fingers on the end of your hand. Uh, your main pressure points are going to be the two index fingers in the middle. That'll go right under your other hand and you should be able to interlock them as shown. When completed, the V from your thumb and your index finger should be pointing at your chin. So it should look just so. Ben Hogan also spends a lot of time emphasizing the importance of a waggle. Waggle is important because it does allow you to visualize your shot right before you're able to take a swing and it creates a proper rhythm for the full swing. So in order to do so, you just kind of place your elbows in your sides and give it a light swing back and forth, just a couple feet through the ball. I've been playing since I was three years old and been practicing Ben Hogan's fundamentals from day one. So here's a few samples of my swing. Here's a nine iron. Here's a five iron. Here's a driver. Also spends a lot of time emphasizing the importance of a waggle. What I say? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Off the bloopers. <laughs> okay. Go.